In this video, we are going to discuss very important property of jet transforms that is differentiation in jet domain. So, this property state like this, if x of n is a discrete time sequence is having jet transform x of z, then the jet transform is having differentiation in jet domain for n into x of n sequence. If sequence is n into x of n, then we are having differentiation in z domain like this minus z d by dz of x of z. That means, so if you are having d by dz of x of z multiplied with minus z, the sequence related to that transform is n into x of n or you can think like any anything that means for the z transform of n into x of n like this or if you consider the differentiation and multiplied with minus z for this transform this signal is going to change like n into x of n. So, without this property we are not going to even attend some problems. For example, so here I want to discuss one problem, uh, I want to consider one example problem for this. So, this example problem is I am having x of z in my hand that is log 1 plus a z inverse when modulus of z is greater than modulus of a. This is the ROC. So, this is the transform I am having in my hand. So, I am asked to find out what is the signal related to this transform. Generally, what we need to do? We need to use inverse jet transform equation. We know inverse jet transform equation 1 by 2 pi j integral x of z, z power n minus 1 dz. So, by using that equation, we cannot even go for next step itself after substituting. These type of problems can be solved by using differentiation in z domain property. So, here I am considering my x of z like this. So, this is given x of z. I want to take differentiation d by dz of x of z. I want to consider d by dz of x of z. So, here I am having a log value here 1 plus a z inverse here. So, the differentiation of this is minus a z power minus 2 divided by 1 plus a z inverse. This is the differentiation of this x of z. You know the differentiation of logarithmic functions minus a z power minus 2 by 1 plus a z power minus 1. So, you will get this same thing in the denominator. So, here the differentiation of constant is 0. So, here we are having minus 1 here. So, minus I will get and after that, that will increase the power a z power minus 2. So, this is the differentiation result first of all. So, now here I am going to consider minus z into d by dz into x of z. So, I am just doing this step by step. So, this is equivalent to if I multiply this side, I need to multiply this side also. If I multiply this side a z power minus 2 into z divided by 1 plus a z inverse. So, here I already am having z power minus 2 and if I multiply z here then I am going to get a z power already here I am having minus. So, minus minus will get cancelled. So, I am going to consider plus now onwards a z power minus 1 divided by so 1 plus a z inverse. This is what I am having. So, here a z inverse 1 plus a z inverse. This I am having in my hand. So, here I want to get this. I want to th this is up to now I did not done any inverse transform. So, z d by d z into x of z is equivalent to this. By this sense, I know this is equivalent to n into x of n. Now, I am doing inverse transform. So, I am going to do inverse z transform on both sides. I want to consider inverse z transform on both sides. So, do not consider plus here, do not take out this uh, minus here. Why? Because when I am applying this, I am going to get the problem. That is why I keep that minus itself. So, here so, minus z d by dz into x of z is equal to I got this minus a z power minus 1 divided by 1 plus a z inverse I got this. Now, here 
take inverse jet transform on both sides. If I consider inverse jet transform on both sides, jet transform of this signal is this, inverse of this is equivalent to n into x of n. According to differentiation in jet domain, now onwards I can write the inverse jet transform of this as n into x of n, n into x of n. Coming to here, I am going to consider like this, minus a into, so here minus a into, so I am writing this separately, z inverse by 1 plus a z inverse. So, z inverse by 1 plus a z inverse. So, here what is the value of that a z inverse by 1 plus a z inverse? How I am getting that value? So, here you can see, so here you just consider this value, we will talk about this, after that we will go for this step once again. So, I am having, so this is a constant, if you are taking inverse jet transform on both sides, this is a constant I am considering like, so for this, for this remaining thing I need to consider the inverse jet transform, before considering inverse jet transform, so here I want to consider the actual signal. So, here that is having 1 by z, 1 by z, 1 plus a by z. So, if I cross multiply it, I am going to get 1 by z plus a, 1 by z plus a. So, here I need to get the inverse z transform equivalent of this 1 by z plus a, then I will get the solution. If I am getting the inverse z transform of 1 by z plus a. So, here this is nothing but in next step I am going to write like this, this ROC I am writing like here greater than more or less of A. So, here in the next step, so up to now inverse Z transform of I need to find out, so 1 by Z plus A. We do not know inverse Z transform of 1 by Z plus A. So, here I want to use unit step function property and time shifting property here. So, now you can see unit step function u of n is there in my hand, u of n z transform is you know that z by z minus 1, this is unit step function z transform z by z minus 1. For example, if you are using, so this is a power n u of n. For example, if that is a power n u of n, you know that the z transform is z by z minus a. This you just consider like x of n, x of n is a power n u of n and x of z is z by z minus a. And here I am considering like this, in the next step I am going to consider like this, a power n minus 1 into u of n minus 1, what I done? So, if this is x of n, so this is equivalent to x of n minus 1. If x of n transform is x of z, x of n minus transform is z inverse x of z. So, we are having time shifting property. So, according to this, the z transform of this signal is equivalent to z inverse into z by z minus a. So, this z inverse came from this shifting of 1, time shifting. So, z inverse z is going to cancel, I am going to get z minus a, 1 by z minus a. So, you came to some type of picture like this, but here you are having plus, here you are having minus. What we need to do in place of a, I need to put minus a, just put minus a, you will get plus a here, that is it. So, minus a whole power n minus 1, u of n minus 1 is having 1 by z plus a as transform. Yes, you got the inverse transform of 1 by z plus a. So, what is the inverse transform of 1 by z plus a means this is the inverse transform of 1 by z plus a. Now, I am substituting here. So, both sides n into x of n is equal to minus a into inverse transform is minus a whole power n minus 1 u of n minus 1. So, here minus a into minus a whole power n minus 1 is there, this I am writing like minus a whole power n, minus a into minus a whole power n minus 1, I am adding another minus a to that. So, that minus 1 will go out 
and minus a whole power n u of n minus 1. What we want? We want x of n. This is x of z. But we want x of n. So, we want x of n means, so here x of n is equal to minus a whole power n u of n minus 1 by n. So, minus a whole power n by n into u of n minus 1. So, here mod z greater than mod less of here refers to that is a right sided sequence. Like this way we need to solve so many problems. So, we got finally we got x of n by this means we got inverse transform of log 1 plus a z inverse. So, this is inverse transform of log 1 plus a z inverse. So, like this way we can find the solution of inverse z transforms by using differentiation in z domain property.